Hello and welcome back to ICS 100. So today we're going to be looking at cloud storage. Uh, you know, this is kind of uh, becoming a lot more popular nowadays and you're seeing a lot of places move to this um, as well as companies and, you know, even as an individual, you know, cloud computing and using the cloud is something that, you know, we can take advantage of and provides us with a lot of new and exciting um, tools and features that we can actually, uh, we can, you know, take advantage of. So let's go and look and see what exactly is cloud computing. So cloud computing, you know, what this is doing is it actually will use the internet to run an application or it could be a service. So we're actually using our internet connection to, you know, run the application. So we're not actually using our own processing power, you know, to do this. And so we're actually, you know, you're seeing this is becoming extremely popular and you're probably already thinking about some different ones that you might might be using or have used. Um, so what it does is it uses the providers, so the, per, the company that's providing the application, it uses their processing power to actually run the application. And they're doing all the computing and everything that's needed, um, and then it's sending that data to you over the internet. And what's great is because it is using internet, you can access the data and content from anywhere. You know, so if the device has an internet connection, you can go, you can connect and download it. So, you know, from your smartphone to a tablet, from your laptop to your desktop. And the great part as well is that this data, you know, you're using this cloud service, you can actually save it and access the same data, that data, you know, anywhere. And it, it will always be updated to the latest version. So that's one of the benefits I really like about it is, you know, you don't have to worry about bringing your laptop or carrying around a portable hard drive or, you know, a thumb drive. You can just use this cloud, um, cloud computing and you can store data on the cloud and you can access it anywhere. So let's go and look at some different applications and I'll kind of briefly explain some of them as, um, you know, you see them up here. So let's jump back into the slides. So different um, applications that we have, um, you know, one of them is probably Google Drive that you've experienced, you know, with our hawaii.edu accounts, we've moved to Google. So you can use Google Drive and, you know, your Google Docs and everything as well. Another one that I like is draw.io. So this provides us with a way of creating images and, you know, this also plugs directly into our um, Google Drive as well. So you can do like mock-up images and everything. And I like using this for, um, you know, some of my database classes and even in ICS 110, it's very useful for doing um, mock-ups of the user interface as well. Another one is Pixlr, which is kind of lets you do um, photo manipulation as well. And then if you're wondering about your finances and everything, you can use Mint. So this will help you keep track of your finances and everything. And another one that I've used um, as well is called um, Evernote. So this is great, you know, if you're in a meeting or, you know, even in class, you could use Evernote and take notes um, of things going on in class and it will store it for you as well. And then, you know, if you get tired of using PowerPoint or something um, similar to that, you have this one called Slide Rocket. So this will let you do kind of like the same idea as PowerPoint. And on that same um, theme, you have Prezi as well. So, you know, these are kind of different presentation ones that you have. And finally, even Microsoft has gotten into the um, cloud capabilities where now you have this Office 365. And so you can use um, Microsoft Office as well using the cloud. And you can store your documents on there. You can edit them. And it's basically Microsoft Office, but it's in the cloud. And one of the nice things about that is, you know, when Microsoft goes and updates Microsoft Office, you know, you don't have to go and buy the new version you're using their version in the cloud, they're gonna update it for you. So that's a huge benefit of using Microsoft Office 365 is that, you know, when Microsoft updates um, their Office product line, you know, you're gonna get the latest update. So that's a huge benefit of that, um, using that as well. So you can see that, you know, there's a lot of different applications that we have. And, you know, each application provides us with different, um, you know, items that we can do. So you can see like, ones for like manipulating photos, ones for creating images, you know, we have different ones for presentations. So there's a lot of other ones out there, you know, and there's always new ones popping up and being found. So, you know, keep in mind if you're looking for something, you might be able to find, you know, a cloud application that does it for you. 
And a lot of times, um, you know, a lot of these, you can sign up for an account. Um, a lot of the ones I use, the accounts, there's no charge for the account, so they're free to use. So that's another benefit, though I will say with Microsoft Office 365, that is a pay for a service. So let's go and look at um, another type of um, you know, item we can use in the cloud. And moving away from applications, we're going to look at cloud storage. So cloud storage is a little different because of it's basically like a little hard drive that you have out in the cloud that you can store data to. And certain ones we have are um, Dropbox is a very popular one. This is one that I really like to use. And I actually store um, a lot of information in here because it's nice. It provides me with a backup um, in the cloud. And as well, your Google Drive you can use for storage as well. So not only is that an application, but it provides you with the means for storage. Other ones as well that provide us with storage are our SkyDrive, Mega, and Box. So I've actually used um, all of these but SkyDrive. And when you know you go and create accounts, and a lot of times with these, when you go and you create your account, they'll give you like a little bit of free storage, not a lot. But you know you can go and increase your storage. You can either buy it or with Dropbox, they do certain things where you know you refer someone and they sign up they'll give you a little bit of storage as well. Um, I've even done things with Dropbox where you know they ask you to test out um, a new feature and when you test it out, they reward you with you know, extra storage as well. So you, know, you can do things like that um, you know, as well. And, or some of them, like Box and Mega, they actually, um, when I signed up for both of these, they actually gave me 50 gigs to start with. So you know, Dropbox only gave me two gigs to start with. So you can see they're not, all, um, you know, they each have their own different features. And, you know, when you sign up, they do provide you with um, different, um, you know, amounts of data storage as well. So what other items can we use for cloud, um, you know, using the cloud? So let's look at other applications and items as well. So jumping back into the slides, we can see that there are other services as well. And one of these you're probably thinking about is like, well, you've never mentioned this, um, you know, iCloud, you know, this is another one that we've seen with Apple, and you know, Apple uses this a lot. You know, you can back up, um, you know, items from your phone, your tablet. You know, you have your photo stream and things like that as well. So you have your iCloud as well, and then another one is your Amazon Cloud Services. So this is another one where you could do a lot of different things with this one, where you can actually go and install a complete operating system if you wish to run in the cloud. And another one, kind of the same idea as Amazon Cloud, is Rackspace. And even Adobe has moved um, some of their services into the cloud as well. So they actually have Photoshop that works within the cloud now um, as well. And another one that I think is pretty cool is um, DocuSign. So instead of having to you know, print out documents and sign them and then like, you know, scan them and email them back, this DocuSign actually works where you can use this cloud-based service and using your tablet you know, and your finger, you can actually go and sign the item and it will store your signature so you can send it back pretty much in real time. And I had a lot of experience with this when I was uh, actually closing on my house, I pretty much used DocuSign for everything. So it, it was a pretty cool one to use and really helped speed up the process as well. And another one um, finally is QuickBooks. So QuickBooks is, um, obviously for accounting issue, counting and everything like that. So you can see that you know you have a lot of different options that are possible within the cloud that you know it's not all based on an application or even storage. You know, you can install complete systems, you know, if you wish. So keep in mind there are a lot of different options within cloud um, within the cloud and everything. So, you know, you want to make sure that you use it properly because you know, we're putting this information out there and, you know, you might not really be thinking about, well, where is this going? We don't know where it's going. We're just putting it on the cloud. So what is this cloud? You know, so keep that in mind that there are some things that we have to think about. So I want to kind of look at some of the pros and cons as well of using the cloud because, you know, we always want to keep in mind like security implications as well. So let's jump back into the slides and look at some of the pros and cons of using clouds. So um, with cloud storage, you know, you got to think about what's good and what's bad. So some of the pros and cons are, um, you know, 
But the pro is you do not need extra physical storage. So you can actually go and increase your storage using the cloud because it's providing you for you in the cloud. You don't need to go and do this. And as well, another great capability is that, you know, you can access data at any time at any place. You don't have to worry about, oh, did I bring it with me? Oh, you know, where is this? You know, it's in the cloud. You can get it at any point um, of time and place. And as well, you know, what's nice is if you have data that you need to sync across multiple devices, you can use your cloud storage for this. So you can just upload it to the cloud and the cloud will sync it across all devices. So you don't have to like, you know, email it to yourself or put it on a thumb drive or, you know, an external hard drive and then move it between devices manually. You can use the cloud storage and you can sync it this way, um, you know, so it makes our lives easier as well. And, you know, you also have the ability to share files. So, you know, you might want to share a file, you know, with a family or friend. You can actually upload it to the cloud and a lot of times you can just email them, um, you know, a hyperlink to the file and they'll be able to download it and view it. So, you know, it does provide us with that um, means because, you know, if you're trying to email a very large file, it's not going to allow you to do it. So it's a way of getting around that. Though, you know, one of the problems is that, you know, your data is stored on the internet. So you got to be careful about what you're storing. You don't want to store things like that have a social security number or passwords in them. You know, so you want to keep that in mind. You know, so the data is being stored on the internet. You have to worry about what you're storing. And as well, because it is using the internet, you might have a little bit slower of access time to it. So, you know, we kind of spent some time looking at um, the cloud and different items that we can use within the cloud. So hopefully, you know, you use the cloud properly and, you know, we'll see you next time. Thanks.